I will add uh, something uh, like uh, like a duplication of the of the phone there maybe what is going on with that mm, not interesting not interesting it's just not fine select the rectangles rectangle and uh, make some part uh, disappear in front and maybe behind something like this or that yeah it looks it looks interesting yeah playful mental process um, let's uh, add something there try to highlight the, the font <coughs> the title behind behind Let's duplicate it under under process uh, to I uh, yeah it looks fine. Here we are, let's put it behind this part of the brain. Now let's create some ellipses, some white ellipses. Mm. Oh, and add uh, and add the shadow, the drop shadow over the the scene uh, the scene stroke of the rectangles here you are best layer style here it's okay um I want to duplicate this one there make it smaller or maybe bigger no smaller smaller is the better better option yeah you are um 
Now let's create a, a geometric shape like parallel to cut the horizontal and verticality of the poster. It will maybe look interesting and not a pass. I want a shape here, here. Looks fine. And you should go a little bit up. Maybe here I should place another one, but larger. See how it looks like, so fine. Let's assume its place. Showing it clearly there. Maybe another one there. Of course, paste the layer style behind two. Let's create something that go out of the poster on the side there. Fill it with this color of the blue, the blue I use for make the brain. Looks fine. Let's duplicate this shape there and place it in front of the brain. <clears throat> Let's make a thinner shape there. No, why the stroke now? I want it filled with white. <coughs> I come on. So now I can rasterize it. Get a little bit there. Done. Copy, paste layer style. And now I can duplicate it. Like this, you, I want you to come over the line where 
is the line. Uh, okay. Rasterize the layer, hit the comma, uh, the keyboard touch L, select and erase this part. Yeah, no pixel is selected, thank you. Place it there. <coughs> Why not? Of course, <coughs> of course, I have to paste the layer style there. Here looks fine. Okay, okay. I know what I will do there. I will create a shape with the same color of the background. Here, come there, like that the brain scene is cut inside. Duplicate this shape and repeat it. on this part of the brain but there Command S to save the file. Okay, this one looks too big. Yeah, why not? Interesting. No. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You pass over the line there. Paste layer style, okay. Oh, the 
it saved file there still uh, saving trying to save something yeah it start to to look very nice Sure, feel this shape. Take a selection into the brain there and uh, make uh, some square up here, maybe here. Okay. Yeah, it looks fine. It starts to look uh, pretty interesting and dynamic. Um, yeah 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 it's fine it's a visually uh, exciting poster to watch let's uh, make here another rectangle uh, yeah square place it over the brain here okay over the brain is not a good idea maybe take a little part of this here right there over the brain Paste the layer style. Yeah, it's a nice poster. Unfortunately, <coughs> I'm really in a hurry today. It's uh, pretty uh, early. And uh, I thank you to watch uh, today's poster. See you tomorrow for the poster 606. Goodbye. Hi. And welcome to the poster number 605. Let me type it 605. We are the 27 August 2020. August.
27, remove the number one, place the title in there. And as you notice today, I render a gray brain. Just want to change from the usual black brain that I made for these three last posters. I should also change the, the lighting effect on it. So let's get started with this poster. I want a blue background. Mm -hmm. Bright blue, no. Oh, yeah. A cold blue, a little bit gray. So Let's cut that brain from the center and duplicate it just in case if oh I didn't duplicate it. Just created a new layer, get the remove it uh, remove it hide this the first brain, copy, command C remove the right part and command V. Let's place it just near. Like this. And let's type the title. Okay, place it better. <coughs> there it's okay. Write the title. It's a uh, mental problems process. Process. Here we are. Okay, select them. Pause and make them larger here place this one here yeah. why not let's duplicate Remove that part, man. Mantle Pro. Yeah, here it cut. Oh no, I need the C there. C, duplicate, paste. Maybe place it around. Hmm. Let's place this one first, see what happens. Okay, okay, got it. Um, 
let's create a mask layer there select that part of the brain hit b key touch on the keyboard hide this brain there up down remove the little stuff between there and select only the type like that i can move it there and see what happens mental process okay you go behind the brain there i want you there like it there mm -hmm. okay i got it it's not the right uh, font type uh, variation of the typeface maybe i should use a condensed bold already better 1,050, 1,150 pixel. Okay, maybe I don't like. No, no, it's not. Maybe I'm sure I don't like the condensed version. So let's use a normal, a regular. Still a little bit big, a large. Bold, same condensed, heavy, semi bold. Black. Yeah, black. Ear. Okay. Let's duplicate duplicate those two brains. And make them a bit smaller. That I have some space to to create. And let's move them oh uh, it hurts to see to see that mental process yeah i moved them but i didn't make them smaller i'll just see a little bit Typeface is probably too large to yeah sure of course transform progress do not cancel it will take hours mantle Oh, I'm changing the wrong stuff. What did I do with the type there? Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, that's not the right letter. Maj. Here you are. No.
Uh, changing again the mass player process like this. Mm, not bad placement. I think it's relatively okay like that. Let's see if I enlarge these two types there relatively larger and see what happens uh, it doesn't work well it's better when it's the same size Let's have some repetition there. What if I play with the font variation? Have a look. Have it in black process. No, it doesn't work too. So come back by hitting command Z several times. Save the poster in case if uh, something happens. That let me the time to think a little bit about the next step I will take. And the next step I will take is is to enlarge everything I think. No, no, it doesn't work at all. Mental process. Uh, One hundred twenty, make it bigger. Oh no, 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 no. What am I doing? I want this grain to 120. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I want a little elliptical tool there. copy and paste this part I put it on the background there maybe make it a little bit uh, or no it was fine let's uh, select this shape and apply a lighter blue and see how it look like over it with a blend mode blending mode Hmm, divide, not bad, but it's not what I want, overlay seems fine. Hmm. 
Hmm, still seeing the point is too too strong. Semi condensed ball. Uh, let's try the regular again one more time. Yeah, it's fine, just too big maybe. No, no, it's not okay. That doesn't work like that. Here it's better. Semi ball. Yeah. Yeah, semi ball is nice too. Mental process. Yeah. Not bad. Should move that a little bit up there. Copy and paste it there, turn a little bit and make a smaller, smaller circle. A little bit more smaller, go a little bit down there. Mm -hmm. Mental process. Yeah, there is something wrong. Maybe the brain is too small now. Should I enlarge it? Yeah, I think it's that. Keep there, looks fine. I merged the uh, two layers of this circle by uh, hitting Command E with the two layers selected. Um, yeah, I should do the same with the big. Uh, the big circle there. And no, 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 no. It looks too too big. Yeah, something interesting is happening now. Maybe this one should go above the brain. I know what they're doing. I want to remove the shape into the, the mask layer. Mm. 
Well, I simply have to remove the mask layer and create another one over. Why am I doing that kind of silly? Delete for sure. And I create another mask layer or no? Ah, uh, yeah. When you add a, when you have a selection, that's for sure. It will hide automatically. So I take this part of the brain, like before I paint into to change. Uh, to to make it uh, disappear maybe you the font should go up hey i don't want that Ah, no, Dad, don't do this. Process. Yeah. It look a little bit better now. Maybe you should go up to. Uh, you should go down. Let's see what happens. I make them a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's look uh, nicely. No. Process. Maybe this one is a little bit too high. You can come. Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, did I hide a piece somewhere? Where is the second circle I added there? Smaller, smaller. Here we are, maybe smaller again. Mental process. Yeah, something is happening. 
um, should work a little bit more on on adding something to connect here adding the adding something ah uh, moving the the mask layer again here okay let's make some rectangles get rid of the fill color i go there to create some shape Yeah, maybe the brain is really too big. Oh, and that's not okay. Should go there. mental process okay let's uh, try something else And uh, let's try to have and try to have the to have all the font on the right and on the left. Here and here. Ah uh, no. I prefer how it was before. Oh. Oh. Maybe make the background darker. Hmm, yeah, why not? That's interesting. Yeah, it really brings something. The, um, the font uh, appear more clear in this way. It's better. It's much better. Let's make a really small one there and make it place it behind all the layers here let's see what happens okay now 
it's not fine like this let's select part of the brain not with the elliptical marquee tool but with the rectangular copy paste place it just near the stroke of the rectangle here command zero to come back to the view of the wall poster maybe i can make it smaller there yeah it's possible um maybe it's that yes we should add a shadow to the brand and create a little bit of uh, depth to the poster so i paint uh, the selection in blue i go to filter blur blur gaussian blur yeah 120 just look perfect let's repeat the operation with the left part of the brain there select and see what happens there yeah it really uh, adds something so let's continue to add the uh, Gaussian blur ear and ear on all the shapes and see how it looks like. So I continue, I repeat the process there. Gaussian blur. Ear, same if now it's unuseful. The poster will evolve and change, so I will probably need a shadow there. So I paint it and I apply the Gaussian blur again over it. Let's do this. on the font okay what what am i doing sometimes just change to one and after i will can apply it for the others spread size yeah it was at 120 with the other elements Copy the layer style, go on these letters there and apply it oh, because it will be interesting to see uh, the overlap because there are, yeah, this font is overlapping the brain, so we'll see clearly how it looks like. Um, paste the layer style and it's a little bit too strong. So maybe play with the transparency a little bit. Spread. Spread zero, it's fine. Mm. 
Yeah, it's okay. So I continue the operation by copy, copying the layer style. I select the other letters. And I apply, I paste the layer style over them too. Just in case if I need. Oh, another time a Gaussian blur there. Create a new layer. Select the shape there. B. I paint this selection there. Filter, Gaussian blur. Filter, Gaussian blur, progress, wait, wait. <coughs> so I select the two layers there, the shape and the Gaussian blur effect, which is the shadow. I merge them like that. It's easier to deal with, with those shape. Oh, sorry. Yeah, a little duplication there, it's good. Looks fine, maybe one more repetition there. Oh, I should select both of the Gaussian blur effect. And the shape, I hit Command E to merge them and I copy paste. Here we are. Yeah, that created death to the to the poster. And let oh let's do this for this shape too. Select the circle, the ellipse and the shadow. And let's duplicate it. And, and why not, why not, okay, I should not merge them uh, where I am, okay, here we are, Command Z, Let's duplicate them without merge them. I just hit the command Z to go back because I just have a little ID about hiding a part of the P behind this shape there. Like that, it will create a, create a, a good effect, I believe. No, oh, I'm sure it would be good. Um, let's select the shape there, come and click on the thumbnail layer, hit B to select the pen tool and, ah, uh, what am I doing? Pro, I go there on the layer mask, careful to only select the shape I want to remove and here we are something else a little details is to take this shadow place it above maintain alt and place it only over the pro letters. So I hit E to select the, the eraser. And I remove, no, 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 I, I, I'm making silly now. 
history, go back, erase, create clipping mask. I should not select a soft, uh, soft uh, aged for the ah, uh, hard. I know I need hard. I need, oh, for sure I am with the brush tool. I need the eraser here back. Done. Next. 